All right. There we go. Can it, oh, can everyone see my slides? Do they move? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. All right. Well, guys, welcome to the Breakthrough Moment. I'm really excited. This is going to be a, a discussion that has been a long time in the making and one that um, has just kind of been percolating in the back of my mind for a long time when it comes to the indie author industry. And so we're going to talk about your potential. We're going to talk about shattering industry myths, aligning with those desires, and then making sure that we can step into abundance. And what does that mean, right? So welcome. Like I said, we're going to get off the struggle bus. We're going to talk about resetting your nervous system. We're going to talk about things like finally getting into alignment with your mind, manifesting the things that we want, and all the, all the things, right? We want to be a successful and abundant author. And maybe we've been struggling a little bit. Maybe we've been put in this place where we're cycling things over and over again, and we're ready to finally have that breakthrough moment. Okay. I want you to stay with me until the end, because if you choose to work with me, we're going to have an extra special bonus at the very end, just for being on this particular call, this webinar today. And I want to make sure that I am celebrating with you guys, giving you something extra juicy. All right. So this is, like I said, your breakthrough moment. So please make sure that you close all other tabs, silence your phone and give yourself the gift of focus because there's a lot of things that are constantly going on with the indie author industry, with ourselves, with our lives, all the things that are happening. Oh, Sherry said the slide still did not move. Really? Even though I was going through, I tell you. All right, let me hit stop and we'll reshare. We'll try it again, this darn thing. Okay, can you see, can you see that slide? Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a breakthrough moment. Let's do this thing. Dang it. This is our break the Zoom mo movement moment. Ugh, Zoom. My The bane of my existence lately has been just a pain in the butt. It's We're lucky it's so nice to us in other ways. All right. So before we begin, begin I want to do a really quick check-in. This is something that I have really, just over the past probably two or three months, really dove deep in and realized just how far out of whack I am. And so I... I think we start, when we start off this call, I want to do this check-in. I want you to, number one, I want you to close your eyes for a sec and just drop in, drop into the moment, drop into where you're at right now, how you're, how you're feeling. Apparently I'm feeling weird. I got some weird throat stuff coming up. <laughs> how is your body feeling? Like just settle into it for a second and just check in. How's it, how's it going there? Okay. Maybe put your hand on your heart. And as you're doing this, I want you to just kind of envision particles of love and light coming through your heart center. I want you to just see like little sparkles flowing in and out with every breath that you take and maybe slow your breath down a little bit. Slow it down to an inhale of four or five and just breathe in really slowly. And then exhale really slowly for that four or five and let it kind of come in and out like an ocean wave. It's very slow, very serene and just let it kind of come in and out. And as you do this, for the first few minutes, or we're not going to go into minutes, but for the first few moments of doing it, I want you to conjure up a feeling of love, whether it be for a person, um, your author career, your like a, a particular place that the reason for the love or gratitude or appreciation really doesn't matter as much as just activating that feeling for a second as you're breathing, as you're going really slow. And we're going to talk about why this is important at the end or at least mid midway through, but it, for right now, I just want you to kind of settle into it and feel into it. Okay. All right. Oops. Now, now that we've done that and we've gone into this moment of just kind of settling in, I want to go ahead and switch. I want to talk about like, if you're, you know, to know that you're in the right place, you are in the right place, right? If you're feeling stuck in your author career and it feels like maybe this is your last ditch effort, I know that I've certainly had those moments. I've been on and off throughout my author career feeling as if, you know, things have to align a certain way. And they, when they don't, then you just feel like you're spinning your wheels. You're constantly doing all the things and it just doesn't click for you. You're also in the right place if you're done with self-sabotage and ready for some real change in your author career, in your life. Um, ultimately, this is more than just about your life, right? The, or more than just your author career. It's about your entire life, how you operate, how you show up, how you be. Okay. And if you're finally ready to go all in with your author career, go all in with living big, go all in and stop playing small. All of these things are so important. So I want you to drop in the chat, which one of those things resonates with you most? Are you feeling stuck? And this feels like elastic effort. Are you done for self-sabotage, ready for change? 
or are you ready to go all in and stop playing small? I'm super curious. Drop them in the chat. I'm going to switch over to the chat. There we go. Ready for change. Ready to go all in. Okay, great, great. Okay, Judy, thanks for the heads up. All in. Love it. Love it. Ready to go all in. Ready for change. I so feel you guys. You are my people. It's This industry has been an industry, industry full of craziness in my mind. I've done this for 10 years and we have seen so much stickiness in the way that we show up, in the way that we do things, in the way that we are trying to bring in um, the abundance and bring in our readers, all the things. And it just has gotten to the point where it's almost uh, dysfunctional, right? Okay. So like I said, I've been where you are. <laughs> I've been frustrated. I think everyone goes through that moment with authorship, with all the things that we're trying to learn, all of the ways that we're trying to add um, stuff into our career and into our toolboxes, all the things, right? I've definitely been overwhelmed when we're trying to add on those new tools, ads, and um, learning how to do keywords, learning how to do book blurbs, which which uh, tropes are the right things. What what do I want to do? do who do I even want to be at this point? Whatever. And I've definitely, definitely been ready to quit. I have been to the point where I've been ready to just throw it all in and be like, I don't even care anymore. This thing is just not, <laughs> this is not my game, right? But now I actually get to help authors. And I've been doing this since 2017 and actively as Author Revolution since 2019. And what's been so cool is I help authors just like you achieve success and balance and abundance faster, right? And some of you are even here, have been working with me in, in some of the programs that I've done in the past. I, I know I see a lot of friendly faces and familiar faces that have been involved in a lot of the things that I teach. But luckily, I've been training myself and I've been helping others to learn how to do it with far less struggle because our industry is just crazy. Right. And I understand where your, your journey is. I understand where you're at because I've been there. I've lived it. I'm still living it. I'm an active author, even though I am still teaching, even though I'm the CEO of author revolution, even though I'm the host of the author revolution podcast that sprung, not because I wanted to it, it sprang literally because people, I was seeing a need for help in my local community and I wanted to be able to help them understand how indie authorship worked, but it's expanded since then. It's expanded to this place of, I, I see the dysfunctionality in the way things are operating. And I know that we're meant for more. I know that we're meant for the, a place of, of true love and abundance and flow. And the way that we've been set up, the way that the industry has set us up, has put us completely in, in under, it's thrown us under the bus to, to be quite honest. And I'll talk about why in a second. Okay. So instead I want you to imagine waking up every single morning, right? Maybe close your eyes for a second and think about it. You're excited to write, knowing that your books are reaching the perfect readers. And of course your bank account reflects all the hard work. I mean, how, how amazing would that feel, right? Drop into it for a second. How, how good does it feel knowing that that's true? Knowing that that's the way it, it gets to be. There's a feeling there that I want you to identify and maybe drop it in the chat too. Like, what is it you want to feel or what is it you do feel if that's your reality? If that's your, your current reality right now, how does it feel? Like, what are the feelings for you? Freedom. Yep. Yep. Anything else? Anything else coming up for you? Does it feel like abundant? Does it feel expansive? Does it feel creative? Does it feel aligned? Does it feel like a breath? Like, a, like an exhale? Like relief, finally? Like, what, what does it feel like? True to me. Joyful. Yes. 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 Giddy excitement. Love it. Some sadness came through. Judy. Interesting. Relief. Dita. Interesting. So Judy, I would say with the sadness thing, I would maybe dig a little bit deeper. Where's the sadness coming from? Because that's a not quite a limiting belief, but it could be something that's sticky for you. That's keeping you just a little bit stuck, right? Creative joy. That's a good one. Like I don't have to settle. Gratitude. Oh, these are so good. So I want you to know that that's the feeling. Those are the feelings you're kind of, you're, you're kind of chasing when you're doing all the things, right? When you're trying to go all in with all the techniques and, and constantly spinning your wheels and constantly trying to add this new thing. Oh, maybe this is the, the reason that it's not working. Oh, this is the thing I have to do next. The feeling that you're chasing are those, the ones where it, it comes up naturally. Like, oh, finally I've, I've got this thing, right? Okay. I think it's because I haven't done it yet is what Judy said. Okay. Well, then it's more about trusting that you get to have it, right? So it's not about having to have it right now, but knowing that that's open for you, knowing that that's a, a reality that's coming to you, knowing that that's the reality that gets to be yours. And so it doesn't, like it exists, it exists now. 
it, it's like me. So I'll give you a quick example. I am still getting over this cold. It's just been an absolutely horrible cold. It, mu it might even be COVID for all I know. It's just been, it's knocked me on my backside. But there's a part of me that knows my healed self is there, right? It knows that once this is over, I'll be back to normal. Like no big deal. It's all going to be me, just normal me. And the abundant version of you, the one that has all the things that you're looking for, the freedom, the, the books, the readers, that version of you exists. It already is there. You're stepping into it. You're mid manifestation of it. And so when you're on the journey, sometimes what happens is we, we, it's like we're caught in the messy middle, you know, for those of us who are fiction authors, we're caught in that messy middle and sometimes it drags so long, but that's the, that's the fun part, right? For the reader, that's where they get to experience the characters and the, the ups and the downs and all the twists and the turns. And it's what makes the beginning and the end so worthwhile. So the journey is the part that, you know, we're trying to elevate a bit more. We're trying to stop trying to skip from point A to point B because our life happens in the middle and we want to come from that place of creativity and joy, right? Liminal space. Yeah. Okay. So this is something that occurred to me this year. It's this I'm done moment because I've had it over the on and off over the years where, you know, I'm a type A personality. I'm a double Virgo. I like to do all the things. I have no problem taking action. When I look at my Clifton strengths, my, you know, activator is very high in my top five. It's like number three, I think in my um, Clifton strengths. So I have no problem taking action. And so when I don't see results, when I don't see the things that everyone else is touting, you know, in different Facebook groups or in um, other places, other genres, whatever, now all of a sudden it starts to put me in a, a, a funk, right? And you reach this I'm done moment, but there's a cool thing that happens there. There's a cool, there's a really cool part in that I'm done moment. It's where everything can shift. It's where a different decision gets to be made, right? Because when you're cycling around that cycle and going over and over and over again, it's like the definition of insanity. Isn't that what Albert Einstein said? Because you're, you know, repeating the same thing over and over, expecting different results. So when you're done, when you finally decided that that's the end of it, we're going to try something new. You go from feeling stuck and broke to stepping into your power as an aligned, abundant author. And the reason that happens is because you've been playing by other people's rules and you've been setting your own needs, your own wishes, your own aligned actions aside and that's not the action that's going to get you to where you need to be. It's not the action steps, the, the inspired action steps that are, is going to get you to where you got to go. And if you've ever listened to me talk about manifestation, there are three steps. The first step is making a decision. So this would be a, a decision point, right? I'm done. I'm done doing this thing over and over again. I'm done feeling this way. I'm done working my author career like this. Something has to change. It has to be different. Locking in the vibe is that moment, that mid manifestation moment, knowing and trusting that it's already yours, right? The answer is always yes. When you decide something, the universe will conspire to help you make it happen. Literally in the quantum field, like in, if we got all sciencey and we, we went all into like the, the quantum physics, quantum manifestation side of things, when you say yes to something, the universe says yes to you. It goes, here's this thing, but it's so open. It's so willing to give you whatever you want. That when you're in a funk or when you're saying to yourself, I'm not worthy or it'll never happen, the universe will give you that too. Because your predominant vibration, your predominant frequency is the thing that is reflected back to you. Okay. So where are we going to go for the rest of this webinar? We're going to go through insider tips one, two, three, and four. And the first one, oops, I moved you guys and it moved off the thing. The first one is going to be the indie author industry myth. I've kind of tapped into this a little bit because this is this is the thing that has set us up for failure. This is the thing that has given us the weirdest preconceived notions about what we should do and how it should work with our careers that it it's literally just set us all up for failure. And the interesting thing is it, it was set up mostly from a place of, you know, trying to earn as much money as quickly as possible because it was a new industry at the time, right? Um, it stemmed from Amanda Hawking. It stemmed from uh, other Facebook groups. Those of you who know what I'm talking about know those groups. I don't need to name them, but um, it, it stemmed from this place that if you create something really fast and put it out really fast, now you're going to get more results faster. And that's not necessarily the place for creatives. It's not really like if you're just in it for the money, you, you can try it, you can do it. But if you're here, more than likely, it's not just about money for you. There's that those emotions that are deeper, right? It's that freedom. It's the relief. It's feeling true to yourself. It's being in your creative flow. And that's where the indie author industry myth has really set us all up. Okay. So then we're going to talk about 
The tip number two is subconscious belief disruption and how the industry myth has disrupted it. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about autonomic nervous system and the struggle cycle and how it perpetuates then all these things together. And then we're going to talk about the mindset shifts for abundance and success. How do we get off of that like struggle train, that weird uh, like moment and get back into the place where we break through, where we have that connection to what we really, really want. And then at the very end, if you're interested in the Q&A, there's going to be a Q&A. And then I'll also give you some information about how you can work with me because I've been designing something really cool that's going to help us all. And it's it's really like the culmination, I think, of all the years that I've been teaching. It's this past summer, I have been digging deep into how can I help us as indies see what's happening in the industry? How can we then elevate ourselves to a new place? And so if you're interested, I will talk to you about how you can work with me on that as well. All right, so let's talk about this first myth a little bit, right? So the myth is hustle, struggle, overwork, all of those things, it's the only way to succeed, right? Rapid release, a book a month. And if that doesn't work, do a bunch of ads. If the ads don't work, you're going to do some promo stacking. Promo stacking didn't work? Okay, well, it must be your keywords. It must be your book description. It must be your, your cover. It must be the fact that you're not hitting the tropes. It must be the fact that you don't have a reader group or a newsletter. Or list all the things, right? All the things, you got to do them all, all the time, all day long, or it's not going to work for you, right? And this myth has been sold to us through these unrealistic expectations and then constant comparison. And often it's not even to the same, to the right people. It's not even to the right genre. Like we'll, we'll compare ourselves to authors who are posting in Facebook groups, these astronomical numbers. We don't know what their ad spend was half the time. We don't know what, what kind of money they had to be able to put into things before they even began. What if you're starting from zero? What I know I was, I started from literally zero. I was probably negative zero when I started. <laughs> like there was no money. I had just gotten a divorce. I had just gotten remarried. We had nothing going on then. It, back then it was like $25 for a promo stack was boggling my mind. How was I going to do it? But sometimes we compare ourselves not having all the answers and then it puts us down, right? It puts us in a place of a funk. And this narrative really sets us up not only for failure, but it sets us up for burnout. And many of us are not we're not in the place of being able to generate a lot of content constantly or being able to do tons of different things all the time, especially when we have lives, right? We have families and we have kids and what we want is giddy excitement. What we want is freedom. What we want is to be able to feel relief and joyful, but we're adding all these things that cloud that vision and it doesn't put us in that joyful state. And yet we keep digging like a dog at a bone at it, thinking that if we can just get to the outcome we think is going to bring us that joy and relief, we're going to ultimately get it right. And it doesn't work because what happens is that the energy continues to compress and the energetic system and your frequency of what you're putting out law of attraction brings back to you. Okay. Does that make sense so far? Does that all click with you? But feel free to drop a comment if it makes sense, or if you've got questions and we can go over that in the Q and a too. Okay. So what happens then is it disrupts everything. So our consciousness and subconscious mind gets disrupted and the beliefs get warped on what we think we get to have or what we get to be, who we get to show up as. So the expectations infiltrate into everything. They in infiltrate into how we're going to show up for ads. Like if we, especially if it's triggering or sussing out things that make us feel inadequate. If it, like if we're not good at tech, if we're not good at um, talking to other people, like, you know, we're authors, right? Who, who really wants to be talking to a lot of people all the time as authors? Most of us don't. I personally, Okay, I like talking to authors. I'm a number one relator. That's like my favorite thing. But most authors are not number one relators. Most authors are like, let me put myself like in all the doing modes and creating and doing all the imagination and stuff. And then, you know, as my husband would say, he, he's the introvert of the family. He's always like, oh, what is it? Write it, write it, buy it, fuck off kind of thing. That's kind of his motto where it's like, he doesn't want to have to deal with you. He's like, no, I've wrote, I've written it. Here it is. Take it, go away. <laughs> like, I just can't. And that's uh, funnily enough, that's a lot of authors, right? It's, it's just interesting. All right. But consciously what ends up happening and what I've done myself and what I've seen so many of you do is that we think we need to work harder. Like we see these astronomical numbers. We see all the, the success that's happening. We know it's possible because that's one good thing this has done. It's, it's given us the insight that we know it's possible to earn from our, our books. We know it's possible to make uh, money to have a lot of readers. And so it must be something with us, right? So I just need to work harder. I just need to make this happen harder. Maybe you were Hermione in school. Maybe you, you always got good grades. Maybe you, um, understood how to do things and, and knocking them up and set or setting them up and knocking them down was like easy for you. 
But for whatever reason, this is not a modality that's going to help you when it comes to tapping into your author career as an aligned, truly aligned author, right? Because subconsciously what happens is I'm not good enough. I clearly am not tapping into the right readers. I'm not good enough to make this happen. I'm not good enough to, to reach my readers. Maybe my writing's not even good enough. What if I'm, I don't have enough money? Then I'm definitely not good enough to, to put in money into ads or audiobooks or um, really good covers. What, what it, you, you name it, whatever the thing is that's holding you back, it's I'm not good enough. And that is going to just wipe away all sorts of energetic alignment to the thing that you want. It, it creates this self-sabotage cycle and so much frustration. And we just get into this place of feeling like nothing I do matters. What difference does it make? Why should I celebrate this next launch? Because it's not like it's going to make a difference. Or why should I you know, do a book bob deal? Because it's not like it's going to make a long-term difference. There's always this thought process then that infiltrates in the back of your mind and it permeates everything that you're doing because it feels like nothing you do is going to be good enough. Nothing you do is going to make a difference. And that energy then creates this cycle of, oh gosh, it, it just creates a cycle of so much bitterness to the author career that there is no way you can get there from there, right? You can't get to that one aligned, successful author version of you when you're feeling and maybe subconsciously feeling like it doesn't really matter. Nothing you do is going to matter anyway. So therefore, why bother, right? Oops. Okay, so I wanted you to do another quick exercise. Over the years that you have been an author, what limiting beliefs have you picked up? Which ones do you think have resonated with you? Is it you have to rapid release a book a month or rapid release a bunch of books a year? Is it you have to have ads in order to be successful? Is it you have to write in romance to be successful? I know that was a big one for me for a very long time. I was like, I'm a, I'm a science fiction author. The only way I, I will ever be successful is if I write in romance. And I still didn't want to write in romance. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it, you know, you have to promo stack? Is it, you have to go to reader events, drop it in the comment section and let me know, like what limiting beliefs have you really picked up that have stuck with you and that, that you feel kind of icky sticky about, and we'll talk about them. The only way to make a sig significant amount of money is to have ad spend. Yes, that is so true. That's not, not true as in like, it's true to make it happen. That is not the case, right? Rapid release, a lot of books, invest a ton in ads have to spend money to make money. Yep. Have to publish at least one book per year or you're not a proper author. Yep. Rapid release, romance, money, run ads, ads. Yeah. So it's like, there's this, this common thread, a better website. So better representation of yourself, right? It's all, it's all coming back to like, okay, well, I don't have enough. I'm not enough. I'm not supported enough. I'm not good enough. I'm not going to be seen if I don't do these things because it's a big world, right? Need to have a thousand super fans or a newsletter uh, who are active. Yep, that's a, a one that I've heard for sure. And while some of these things can on and off be true, it's not the ultimate truth. Because when what happens is when you're aligned, when you're feeling and coming from a place of true alignment of who you are, not who the industry tells you to be, not, um, oh, I actually had a screen where it says drop it in the comments. Ah, it, you're coming from a place of your intuition. You're tapping into your higher self. So when you are sifting and sorting through the universe and you're seeing different aspects of your author career and what you really want, you're going to go, okay, these are the things I want in my life. And these are the things that I don't. The universe goes, okay, you get to have the things that you want if that's what you want, right? And what it's up to you then to tap into that future casted version of yourself, knowing and trusting that that version of you exists and that you get to have it, which means you take the inspired action steps that align you to that goal. But you can't do that when you're in a place of it's not good enough. What I do is not going to go, not, not good enough. It's never going to matter because I don't have the money. It's not going to matter if I don't, um, you know, have the newsletter or the thousand super fans or all the things. None of that matters. Like there, there are authors who make it big and they don't have a list. There are authors who make it big and they don't run ads ever. There are authors who make it big who have one or two books. There are authors who make it big and they are introverts and they don't ever go on social media. So all the myths out there, all the things where you have to do all these things, they're all myths. And what it does is it frays your attention and you're no longer operating from your place of power because you're thinking you have to do all the things and none of them are in alignment with who you are and what your truth is. And so we, we have to come back to that place of locking into who we are. And sometimes that means dropping the momentum 
of all the things we're currently doing so we can get real still and real clear on who we are, how we want it to operate and how it gets to be. Because we, it's yes, right? The universe will always give you the answer. Yes. When you've decided something. So if you decided, I don't want to have to do ads or I don't want to have to do um, Facebook, whatever reels, TikToks, whatever. If there's something that you really are not aligned to, it gets to be yes. And we get to move in the direction of the things that feel good to us instead of trying to add more of the stuff that starts to make our energy really sticky and icky, right? Because when it's sticky and icky, what happens is we disrupt our nervous system. We disrupt everything that's happening in our actual energetic body. And this has been something that has been so hugely eye-opening to me this summer. I've been working with um, the heart math concepts. I've been working with uh, autonomic nervous system regulation. I've been working with um, reticular activations. It's been so profound to me that even, even over all these years of teaching manifestation, of teaching um, authorship in general, like I, I've got rapid release roadmap is one of my programs, but it's about trying to create a, a system where you're rapid releasing in a way that still feels good to you. It was, it's always been so important to me that we're doing this in alignment with who we are rather than going with the, the way things have always been done or how the way that people are saying it needs to be done and more instead trusting ourselves. Right. Because what happens is we have a belief mismanagement and this triggers the body's survival mode. It keeps us stuck in stress and fear because what it does is it triggers the autonomic nervous system, which is actually, it's two different systems, but the one that gets triggered is the sympathetic nervous system. And that's your fight or flight mode. The autonomic nervous system handles a lot of different things from um, breathing and heartbeats to digestion. And then of course the stress hormones. Okay. But when we're in that belief mismanagement, we get stuck in fight or flight. And when that happens, you're blocking all of your creativity and all of your abundance because you're operating from a place where your nervous system is going, we need to be safe. We need to keep you from dying. We need to keep you from being hurt. We need to keep you in this bubble because right now you're telling me through your thoughts, through your emotional energetics, you're not safe. And so when that goes on for a long period of time, you are not your most creative self. You are not coming from a place of connection to the universe, a connection to your creator version of yourself. You're not connected to the quantum field and pulling in all that really good juicy stuff. Instead, your, your system is closed off and you're trying to, basically your energy is trying to beat itself against itself and you're not able to expand beyond it. You're not, you're not downloading information from the universe. You're not downloading information from the quantum field. You're not tapping into all of the abundance, all of the potentials that are out there because your system is just completely out of whack, right? And the more you struggle with the career, with yourself, wondering why it's not working, doing all the things, the more you're conditioning yourself to stay in that survival mode, to stay in that dysregulated nervous system center. And it's been really interesting to me because as I started working with um, the heart math and heart coherence, all of a sudden I'm realizing, oh my gosh, more often than not, I was still operating and I know this stuff, right? I was still operating from a place of heart incoherence, of nervous system incoherence. And what heart coherence means, it's just, it's a, a way to be able to track whether or not your autonomic nervous system is in flight or flight, at fight or flight. And it's able, like, it's a really tangible thing to be able to, to like, I have an app and I can put my finger on it. It will track whether or not my uh, HRV is in a good place. So it's the heart rate variability is what HRV means. So it's that space in between your heartbeats. And what you want is smooth, consistent heartbeats because that triggers your nervous system to go, oh, we're cool. We're, we're in a place of, of rest and rejuvenation of like just chilling and, and being good. Okay, we, we can come up with some creative ideas. It's all good. And it's really interesting because even in my meditations, I didn't realize I breathe too shallow. And so I'm not, I'm not producing enough of that nervous system regulation in my meditation. So I'm actively forcing myself to breathe slower and deeper. And what it's doing is it's triggering, triggering even my own nervous system to feel even more aligned than it was before. If you follow my podcast, I've been meditating for the past, I don't even know, Feb in February, I started this thing where every single day I'm going to meditate and I'm going to take action based off of anything that comes through my meditations. I have had some wildly interesting things come through my meditations. And I mean, everything from just tiny little things like, oh, here, use this um, use this headline for this ad or uh, reach out to Jen Sincero and ask her to come onto the podcast, like all sorts of things, right? And it's been interesting because as I've been doing this, 
my nervous system, st- it's gotten better, but it hasn't even come close to the heart coherence aspect of it. And so I've realized that we are so funked up <laughs> we are so funked up as uh, authors because of all the things that we are telling ourselves we have to do and how we have to do it and why it needs to be done, done that way. We've, we've get fed ourselves. It's like huge lie, huge lie. Okay. So remember that breathing technique in the beginning, that's actually called the quick coherence technique. It's a true system to be able to activate, like I said, your nervous system, get it back into alignment. It's done. um, It was created and done by the heart math Institute. So good. It helps your body to feel safe, balanced, and open. And so anytime you're feeling like you're, um, you know, when you get really frantic and you're feeling like, oh my God, I don't have time and I'm doing all the things or anytime you're like, oh my gosh, all the, all this stuff is not working. That is your cue to stop, take a break. Even if it's just two to five minutes, like it doesn't have to be a long period of time. What ends up happening is if you can get into heart coherence, it can even be 20 seconds that you're actually in coherence. It doesn't matter. It triggers your body to go, oh, okay. Okay. We're not, we're not full on in this panic mode. Okay. So we can, we can chill a little bit. We're good. And it has a residual effect that it affects the rest of your day that it, it, it affects everything that you're doing. And the more you do it, so if you can set an alarm on your phone, for instance, um, I have alarms that go off, especially in the afternoon, one every hour. And so when they go off, I take two minutes. I do my heart coherence. Sometimes I use the heart math app. Sometimes I just do it for myself. And when I come out of it, it's like, you're just recentered again, you're refocused. And it, it's such a small thing, but it makes such a huge impact to how we feel and how we're showing up. Okay. So insider tip number four, we're going to talk about mindset shifts for abundance and success. Because if, if you've listened to me talk before, beliefs are really just thoughts you continue to think over and over and over again. And so we train ourselves to think that things have to be done a certain way, or we train ourselves to think that we're not going to earn success because of ads, uh, ad spend or doing all the things or, um, you know, not writing in romance, you know, whatever the case is, we, we give ourselves these notions, but not everybody has these same beliefs. Like we don't all believe we live in the same house, right? We, we know that that's not the case. We don't all believe that, um, oh gosh, we, we don't all believe that romance is the only way to go. We don't all believe that ads have to be a thing because obviously there are people who are doing it. So if we know that beliefs are just thoughts we can continue to think, that means that we can change those beliefs. It means we can think new thoughts, we can take new actions, and that means we can change our reality. Okay, so some daily practices. I want you to consider when you are feeling like things are not working, like it's time to make the shift where it's time for that breakthrough moment. I want you to take out your journal. I want you to, to journal how you're feeling, keep track of those things. There, um, one of my favorite ways is through subconscious reframing, whether that be taking the thought that like, for instance, ads are the only way to be seen. You can take the thought and go, but is that really true? Is that the only way? Like, is there a big chalkboard in the sky and the universe has said the only way that any indie author is ever to make money from their books is if they put more money in than whatever. No, that's not the case. That's never been the case, right? We get to choose how it works for us. And so we get to decide, okay, well, while I could like to spend money at some point, that's not the only way that I'm going to have my readers. What if I see a reader on the street and I happen to run into them and we start talking? What if I, you know, post something innocuous and it spreads. What if someone reads my book and spreads it on TikTok and I didn't have to do anything? Like there's so many different ways that you can tell yourself how it gets to work by just reframing. And then we also have um, meditations and hypnoses that can help you get into your your subconscious mind and really get into the heart of the reframing aspect of, of your limiting beliefs. Once again, that heart coherence practice, because it's so, it's so powerful. It's probably the most powerful tool I have started incorporating every day into my author career. So these are all keys. They're all keys to your author breakthrough, to your career breakthrough, because it's not going to be about doing all the things that everyone else is telling you, right? Yeah. Just, just thinking about posting on social media creates a knot in my stomach. I feel you. Right. And it's not even about like the the social media necessarily. It's probably about how you're, how you think you're going to be perceived or whether or not there's going to be crickets or whether or not it's going to be worth it. It's like, there's all these weird, we add all these weird layers to it and it just doesn't help us get to the, the heart of what we really want. And it, it just, it throws us off center, right? Ooh. Oh, well, whatever. When you align to your future self, new possibilities and synchronicities present themselves, right? So when you have shifted, when you change the way that you perceive yourself, the way that you perceive the world, 
those possibilities have always existed. It's just that your energetics wasn't in the place to be able to receive it. Your energetics couldn't bring it in. Social media is exhausting. Dita, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. I'm trying to incorporate it now uh, more in a different way for author uh, revolution. And it's, but it's exhausting, but it's actually kind of fun. Like the, there's a new energy to it for me, which is, it has not been the case for a very long time. So, and I, I blame the heart coherence, but guys, I have seen this all again, like all sorts of good things come when you start to make the decision to shift, when you decide to try something new, when you decide to realign your thoughts, when you recognize the limiting beliefs for what they are and the fact that you get to reframe them, it's all so, so good. Yes. Try batching and scheduling to forget that, that I do so much batching. It's so good. And it is a, a good way to be able to do it, especially energetic wise. If you're an energetic where it's like you have updates and you have down days, if you have days where you're feeling really creative, that's when you batch it all together and get a whole bunch of it done. So that on those days where you're not as creative, you're not as high vibe or whatever, it's, it, it's easier to just go, oh, I've already got these things ready to rock and roll. All right. So I have a question. Are you ready to make a breakthrough today? Is, is today the moment you have your breakthrough moment to finally play in that place as an abundant, successful author? Because I know that you can be, and I think you do too. So uh, if, you, if the answer is yes, put yes in the comment, because I want to know. Yes. <laughs> Good. I'm like, thank goodness we got people here who are, who are as excited as I am, right? Okay. So imagine what's possible because this has been my biggest thing over the past, I don't even know, probably the whole time I've been an indie author because I can imagine what's possible. But now everything's coming together. Now it's all starting to make sense in my brain as to what's happened and why it's happened and why I've, I've even been as crazy as I have at times. Because when you have the tools, the mindset and the support to turn your dreams into reality, it makes everything so much easier because you're no longer locked in that comparison, uh, the comparisonitis, the, the feeling like you have to do things exactly the way other people are teaching or doing. It now comes back to, oh, I have control. I have, I'm the creator of my reality. I'm the one, <laughs> I'm the authority. I need to remind myself to check back in with, right? However, if it's new to you, I'd love to be a guide on this journey with you, right? So today you have a choice. And this is where we're going to get into some of the, the fun stuff where I'm talking about the new thing I've created. But I want you to think about, like, do you want to continue on your path, hoping for change, doing the things, um, taking snippets here and there? And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know, it could go faster if you want. And I'm loving the support that I give to the authors that I have. So we could obviously do this together as well. And so the thing that I've created, the thing that you're invited to, if you're interested, if you want to check it out, is this thing called the High Vibe Author Membership. Now, this membership, <laughs> it's been a joy to create, to understand, to think about after having my I'm done moment, after having my what in the hell am I doing? Why am I doing it? How do I reach the people who are the, my people? How do I get them to understand why this is so important? And this was the culmination of it. And sometimes I want you to know, guys, like when, when you're falling apart, when everything's falling apart, it's so it can fall back together. So it can become more clear in your mind and you can understand, oh, that's why it fell apart because I needed to let go of some limiting beliefs, some ideas of what I thought things had to look like, right? So High Vibe Author is the only membership that is designed to my knowledge to help you reset your nervous system, rewire your beliefs, and give you the support to become an aligned and abundant author. Okay. So in this membership, you're going to have access to some of my courses and those are the abundant author activation. This is a masterclass. It was 90 minutes long. It has journal entries. It has hypnosis. It has meditations. It's all about revo revoking the vow of poverty and activating your abundance. Again, it is a more money focused mindset, um, uh, manifestation class. Then there's the millionaire author challenge, which is digging deep into understanding how to how to manifest in general. So it gives my, my three-step strategy of how to manifest from decide, lock in the vibe and take the aligned action. But it's, there's, it's so much more than that. There's so many games and ways to be able to kind of hand over your worries and your stressors to the universe through those games. It's been so much fun to do. We have this new this year, uh, hypnosis from my friend and partner. Her name is Tammy Tyree. She's a board certified clinical hypnotherapist. And so she's the one that's done all of the hypnosis and hypnotherapy throughout the courses. And then there's also the aligned uh, abundant author alignment. What I found over the years is that step two, which is locking in the vibe, knowing, trusting it's yours. The answer is always yes. 
that's the part where we get hung up. It's that middle part where we're mid-manifestation. And so I created a course specifically to help authors remember what it feels like to be in alignment. Okay. Now, all of these together, if we were to um, just put it all together in one big bundle right now, their, their total cost is $850. And if I broke it out over 12 months, that's 70 bucks a month. If I were to just, just do these things, of course, this is not all that there is. This was just kind of my, I know I want to have some courses that are going to support authors in this membership, but the true magic is going to be the interactive stuff. So let's talk about that. Okay. So I call them bonuses. They're really not, they're not bonuses. They're the core. They're the meat of this membership. So we've got a community that is all by itself. It is not attached to anything else. It's called the high vibe author, obviously community. I do have other communities, but they're a part of other programs. And so this is a private community. It has access uh, with enhanced support and networking and all the good things. And then of course there's monthly group coaching calls with me. We are going to talk again by itself. Each, each of my programs have their own monthly coaching calls, but this is going to have its own and you'll be able to come in. We'll have a Q and a, we'll, we'll do something very similar like to the Q and a that we're going to be doing here today. It's going to be so much fun. Now guys, I just want to reiterate, I'm not special, right? I've got a lot of books out there. I've gotten uh, a lot of acclaim. I've sold a lot, but I'm, I've just been testing this stuff out for a long time. I've been looking and playing around and teaching and I've been doing this stuff so long that I'm starting to see the patterns. And as a double Virgo pattern seeking is kind of my jam. I, I like it. It helps me with the strategy that I give to other authors. It helps me do what I do for myself, but I love it. I, I love being able to see how some of the things I've been working on were part of a bigger picture. I love seeing how I get to help and support you in new and, and innovative ways. And it's just my biggest joy, I think, is seeing like we have the uh, millionaire author manifestation group, our MAM group, and we have our rapid release roadmap group. And I love getting to know these people. And some of them are awesome faces here today, right? Um, and being able to know like who's working on what, who's publishing what, who's struggling with what, like, who, who has like grandkids, who has regular kids, who has like a house full of like all of the things, like all, I love it. <laughs> and that's just the part that makes me the most happy being able to connect one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. So in addition to obviously the community part of it, one of the thing that, one of the things that's been ongoing for author revolution is I've been creating masterclasses. And some of these masterclasses are abundant author wise. They are quantum physics wise. I have one on heart coherence that actually talks about the central nervous or the autonomic nervous system and how to get back into alignment. Um, but we also have like AI classes. We have classes on newsletters. There's a bunch of different classes that are in there. In fact, um, there are like, go through the slides there. There are 10 so far, and then they're ongoing every single month. So in this membership, you get access not only to the library, but also the upcoming classes. So this is all included. It's all part of the same thing. So they, you get to join us live. You get to come into the new master classes if you want. I know there's some authors don't like to join live and that's something they just want to watch later. So then it goes into the master class library and you can watch it at your leisure. It's not, there's never an obligation to join the calls, but I do know that those who join into the calls and be a part of the community, they're the ones that are starting to see the most results. So the, if nothing else, we're feeling like we're in this together. We're seeing the new way forward. We're seeing how to make this all work for us instead of relying on kind of this hustle and grind concept, right? So this is all the, all the fun stuff that you get access to, but there's also going to be a 14 day guarantee. You can hop in, you can check out the courses, you can check out the memberships, you can check out all of the things. And if it's not what you're wanting, if it's not going to fit your vibe, if it's not fitting what you're anticipating, there's no hard feelings. Like you, you can join, you can check it out and then you can, can leave after 14 days, money back, no problem. Okay. So again, all of these things together combined, if I were to do it, like just at face value at what it costs, it'd be $285 a month. Obviously that's not what I'm charging. That's, that's crazy insane because we're indie authors and we have all the things we're trying to get back to a place of sanity, right? So the actual price that I'm going to be putting face forward, face out is $123 a month. But for those of you who are on the call today, those are, who are here, who are interested and who sign up, it's going to be $88 a month. So what happens is, or there's also a yearly membership too. So if you'd like, if you're, I'm, I'm like this, whenever there's like, I'm like all in, I'm like, okay, I'm good. I want to do the yearly thing. So obviously it saves a lot of money just for those people who are straight off the top. It's a 997 per year, but for you guys, you also get the $35 off every time you renew. So it's 962 per year. 
Now, if you're ready to sign up, if you're ready and you want to join me in this new community and this new vibe and this new experience, because I just, I'm just so excited to start elevating the community in a new way. Uh, it's authorrevolution.org forward slash my breakthrough is the, the site to go to. And it's only available through this, this class. Like I'm not putting it out in anywhere else. It's not even going to go to the list, uh, my email list. It's only for those of you who have signed up to the webinar. Those of you who are watching the webinar, uh, the, the actual website for this particular landing page is going to be completely different. So remember, remember that early bonus that I talked about. It, because you're here, because you're a part of this, I also want to throw in your future self. And if you don't know what your future self is, it is my membership. Actually, I can go through these things with 175 author inspired meditations and hypnoses. What happened was in our larger course, which is not a part of this membership, it's called Millionaire Author Manifestation. Um, we have so many hypnoses and, and meditations that are helping authors, but so many of us were like, okay, how do we, how do we continue this once the course is over? How do we stay, stay in tune with our meditations and lock in our vibe and keeping our, our like energy high. And what we ended up doing, Tammy and I, is we created like these little mind magic workouts. Think of it kind of like Beachbody. At least that's how I, I view it. Beachbody has like different, you know, workout things. And it's like, you know, 30 days or 80 day obsession or, you know, what, whatever, eight weeks. It's the same kind of concept, except this is going to be for your mindset and your meditations. So we have themes like money, money mindset or new beginnings or quantum manifestation or um, your shadow work self that's actually coming in October. We've got all these different things that we're creating for this particular program. But when you pick one, you have meditations or hypnoses for every day of that week. And so you don't ever have to question like, which meditation should I do? We've literally hand selected how each one of these is going to go back and forth. And it's just a really powerful tool to be able to get into that subconscious mind, especially through Tammy's hypnotherapy, to get in there and really root out some of the, the limiting beliefs that are kind of nefarious and, and just sit, sit there and we don't know how to get them out. It, it's so easy. You just listen, you get into that place. And most of the meditations and hypnoses are going to be 20 minutes or less that the vast majority. So you, it, you don't have to commit, you know, an hour, a, a day or something like that. They're much smaller, but they're very potent. All right. So again, if you want to sign up, this is the website, uh, authorrevolution.org forward slash my breakthrough. But I want to, I want to do a walkthrough because I know that it's important for a lot of people, especially if you're kind of tech adverse to see how it works. So if you go to the, that site and sign up, this is where the sign up links are. You've got the two options. You click either one of those buttons and it's going to bring you to the, the actual like checkout page. The checkout page will look like this. And so obviously it'll come up initially with the 123 or it'll come up initially with the, I think a 997. But if you type in breakthrough 35 into that little, um, the little code coupon code section right up here, it will shift it for you. And so it'll change it. It'll say $35 off forever. So if you're signing up for as long as you're a member in the membership program, you will get the $35 off forever. Or if you're going to do it with the yearly membership, you will also get the $35 off forever. So every single year, year you'll get it at the same rate. So once you're inside, this is what it looks like. You log in. Now you can either log in with your phone or you can log in on the computer. I was just showing different examples. And what's really nice is there are apps that you can use, or you can just do it from a web browser. It's like we use Kajabi as our academy. So you log in, brings you to the course section, all the different things. The collective is, um, this one is actually for the Millionaire Author Squad, which is for, man, for the Millionaire Author Manifestation course, but yours will say high vibe author. And so all of the things are right here and you can access them in that particular place. But if you're looking for the community, you'll click on the high vibe author. It'll bring you to the community and it looks like this. What's really cool is we've, we've incorporated some chats. So if you have questions on any sort of part of the, the membership, so let's say it's millionaire author um, challenge, you have a question there, you can chat it in the chat part and, and go in there. I subscribe to that and I never miss doing a meditation. I love that Dita. So good. Awesome. I know it's not fair to say that. <laughs> you cracked me up. I love it. So it's so good. Oh, thank you, Sherida, for putting that in there. Yes. So this is what the membership um, community looks like. It's a lot like Facebook. You just put, put your information in here. You're going to have, you know, options like gifts and pictures and all the things, and we'll be able to communicate there, or you can do it in their own app. Now there are two different apps. I don't know why Kajabi does this. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but for the courses, there's just like the Kajabi app. And then for the communities, there's the communities app. And so maybe because it keeps it separate and you're not able, you don't have to like worry too much. Um, 
I, I don't know. They, they just keep them separate. And so when you sign up, there is going to be an email with all the details. So like if you'd rather have the app versus being on a web browser or anything like that, there, there's details on how to get the apps and how to use it all. The push notifications I found are just really so helpful when it comes to you know, getting notified of someone leaving a comment or something. So I, I like having the app personally. And then this is what it looks like if you're in one of the courses. If you're online, it's going to be much more pretty. I've designed it to look pretty, but the, the way that their app looks, it's just a little bit more um, streamlined so that you go in. Same exact course, same exact way it looks. And then you just go through each one at a time. And there's downloads. There are PDFs galore. There are journal entries to be able to think about your author career, how you get to receive, what you get to have. Your future self will look like this. Um, the, the, when you're playing something, it will look like that. So you can play it right from the app itself. So there's, you know, now we actually, you know, we're coming up on Nano. So there's one specifically for NaNoWriMo. It goes through all of the days of NaNoWriMo. So you are able to get into the vibe of that. Money, uh, Money Muse, we've got page one, which is the new beginnings one. Love it up, finding back that love energy for your books and your writing career. Inner Gold, it's kind of, Kind of like the money magic, but it's it's deeper than that. It's actually a deeper kind of thing. Like I said, there's quantum manifestation. There is, there's so many, so many of them in there. So again, the, the prices are 88 a month or it's 960 to a year. The, the choice obviously is yours. And that 14 day guarantee is also, also on the table, obviously. So remember, you're here because you've reached that I'm done moment. You're here because you're tired of spinning your wheels. I know I certainly have been, it's just been crazy. And you're also ready for change and ready to look at your author career from a new place to be supported by a community that understands how you're feeling, how you've been feeling and where you're trying to go, because we're all in the same place. We're all doing the same thing. And some of us might be further along than others, but we're all here to support each other. And one of the biggest privileges I've, I've had in creating Author Revolution is I have some of the most Im like impressive and supportive and understanding and kind and loving students in my stuff. Like I've never had an issue ever. It's just incredible. I'm so blessed. And you will love, absolutely love the people that are in this group. So you're also here, obviously, because you know, deep down you're meant for more. I mean, we all are, we are all meant for more. It's just that we've allowed the, the myth of how it works to get down on us, right? There's a breakthrough waiting for you and it's going to click. It's going to click so hard. And all of a sudden things are going to shift. <laughs> Sherry says she loves your future. So isn't the quantum manifestation one awesome? I've had so much fun with that one. That's probably been my, my favorite one to build so far. Um, okay, so you're ready to step into your power as an author. That's another reason why you're here, right? You're ready to step in and really align your mindset, reset your energy. Maybe you didn't even know that your energy is part of the problem. Maybe you didn't know your nervous system is part of the problem. I know for me, I didn't realize how strong it was a problem. <laughs> I mean, I knew there was a little bit going on there. I knew it was stress, but I didn't understand to the full extent that I do now how much of a problem it can be, right? But you want to manifest the career that you've always dreamed of and feel those feelings of freedom, feel those feelings of joy and bliss and excitement all over again, instead of feeling like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> Why is this not working, right? You're also here because you want a community that supports you. You want to be a part of this group rather than it being just like watching all the people who are doing all the good things, but you're not one of them. Or maybe you can't even post because they're like, oh, you can't share your things that way in this group. There's been a lot of groups like that, right? Where you can't, you can't share your wins. You can't share your books. You can't self-promote. You can't whatever. In all of my groups, I have never, ever told people that they cannot share their books. I don't believe personally in, like, we're here to support each other. I don't believe in saying, oh, this is my group. You can't share your book that you just published. What? No, we want to celebrate with you. We want to go check it out. We want to know what you're doing. We want to understand how it's working. We want to see how we can help elevate you. So if you've got a new release, if you've got something that you're working on, if you have uh, something that isn't working or whatever, you share it with us because we're here to support you and elevate, right? Deanna, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, the, the replay will go out. Thank you for being here. Okay, <laughs> Sherry says, best group I've been with. Incredibly supportive. Oh, thank you, Sherry. <laughs> you make me feel so good every time. I love it. You and Terry are both both like that. You always make me feel so good. All right. So everything, again, that you're looking for is in High Vibe Author. It's mindset shifts. It's manifestation tools. It's a community. And then, of course, there is still coaching that is going to be involved. I am still here every single day. And if you've got questions, put it in the group. I am literally here at your beck and call by being a part of this membership because and I tell my, my students in all the big programs that we, where we have communities, like, leave us, leave me comments. They're like, oh, I don't want to bug you. No, I'm a number one relater. Let me know 
what I can help you with. I want to know. I want to be able to be here for you and support you. All right. So the High Vibe Author Membership is designed to give you exactly what you need to create your breakthrough. I literally thought so long and hard. <laughs> and Heather, who I think is still in this um, call right now, she she was trying to help me kind of piece through like, what am I trying to do? What am I working on? How am I working on it? And she was kind of dropping breadcrumbs for me and on how, how this membership is going to work and who I'm helping. And literally it all came together one day and she's like, I have been telling you these things for the past, like whatever, but literally it was designed because I was trying to figure out components. Like, how does this work? How am I going to help these authors? What do I want to say? What is the most important? And that I had my own breakthrough moment. So if you've got doubts, like what if I'm, what if I'm too busy? not surprising, right? We all have busy lives. But the truth is this isn't about adding more to your plate. It never has been. It's going to be about aligning your energy so that you can do more with less and actually just loving it, loving what you get to do instead of trying to add all the things that are not in alignment with who you really are. What if it doesn't work for me, right? That's a big fear and it's a common fear, right? But the truth is if you show up, if you do the work, and if you're committed to your own growth, transformation is inevitable, inevitable, babe, because what happens is when you are coming back to your truth, you're the only one who knows what is true. You're the only one knows how, who knows what it is you're trying to feel. I can point you in the direction. The courses can put you in the direction. The mindset work and the nervous system alignment can help you get back into that state of calm and clarity. But once you're you, once you're tapped into the power of you, there is nothing that can stop you, right? These strategies are here to support you and they work. And what if you've tried all the other things and you're still stuck? I Believe me, I understand, I get it. <laughs> but the High Vibe Author isn't just another course. It's not just the courses that are involved. It's a holistic approach that's gonna bring in all these aspects. It isn't, like I said, it isn't about doing more. It's about doing it differently. And so we're here to have the breakthrough moment. We're here to have aha moments. We're here to try things that are completely off the beaten path of what others are teaching. What if you can't afford it? I get that too. So investing in yourself is an important investment. It's one of the most important ones you can make in yourself, right? But just remember, you have 14 days to test it out. You don't have any long-term contracts. I mean, obviously, if you sign up for the yearly membership, you have 14 days to decide if you want that or not. But then after that, you would stay in for the year and that the refund capacity is gone. But you have 14 days you have a month to try out all the things. It doesn't have to be a long-term commitment at all. You can test it out. You can be a part of it. See if it's the right vibe for you. And it might not be for everybody. And I'm perfectly okay with that. We're, we want the people who feel like this is the next logical step. This is the group that they've been looking for. This is the answer to the question they've been asking, right? What if I'm not ready? <laughs> well, I would say that the fact that you're here means that you are ready. It means that you're ready for change. You're ready for growth. And you're ready to step in to the new foot full potential version of you. You're ready to take on new challenges and look at it slightly differently, especially when you realize that it means doing more with less. It's so good. The question isn't whether or not you're ready. It's if you're willing to take that leap. So again, don't take my word for it. I've talked to a lot of students. We've had a lot of courses and classes and podcast episodes and all the things. And these are just obviously some of the testimonials that I have. So this is your moment to take action. It's your moment to have your breakthrough moment, right? So I would hope that you join now. Don't forget about the bonus. You'll get the your future self access to the membership. And now my dears, whew, after all that, I talk really fast. Let's do our quick Q&A because I'm here to be able to answer any questions you have. And it doesn't just have to be about high vibe author. It can be anything that you're kind of stuck with, anything that you're working through. And we'll probably spend, let's see, at least 10, 15 minutes unless you need more. I'm always here for you guys. So what can I help with? What questions do you guys have? Feel free to unmute yourself too. You don't have to type it because I like it when people actually speak. <laughs> okay. I have a question yeah. as usual. Of um, course. Okay. So we were talking about how um, you, we have these beliefs like um, you, the only way to make money is ads or you have to be on social media to connect with your fans. Um and I know that we talked about the um, sort of the myth of the indie author community that's kind of been fed to us, you know, by I don't, by people who have been successful or whatever. So my question is, like, how do I know, like, if I feel good about something? So let's just use ads in general. So, like, 
how do I know if I feel good about that or if I've adopted the belief of, well, I'm not good at ads anyway, like in that self-sabotage mode, like how can I discern like what actually makes me feel good if I've already sort of like tampered with the belief? I don't know if I'm making any sense, but do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. 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 So okay, like, so how can I f feel like, how do I know what I'm truly aligned with versus what was your like first what belief with ads? Like way back in the beginning, before you started playing with it, before you started incorporating, what was your belief about ads? That I needed to have money to be successful with ads. Okay. And did you believe that in order to be successful, you had to have ads? No, actually I didn't believe that. Okay. So your did you feel like you were excited to try ads or were you feeling like I am not excited to try ads because I don't have the money to put into the thing for ads? The way that I remember being presented by ads um, was Mark Dawson's course. And at the time, I know it's it's gone up, but at the time it was still a lot for, for me. Um, and I think one of the ways, and I, I don't, I don't remember if it was him specifically or other like people who had taken his course, but it was more like, you know how you talked about like, okay, if you can't afford this, you know, like it was more like, well, if you can't even afford the course, you can't even afford to play around with ads because if you're doing $5 a day, that's not enough to, you know, do X, Y, and Z with a Facebook ad or get it to learn something or make a significant dent. So there's really like no point in you even trying to do them. And again, I'm not saying this was from specifically his course, but that was like my first encounter of what Facebook ads were. He was very, sense. um, from what I remember, I, I, I took his course as well back in the day and I've done a lot of different ads for authors courses, but yeah. he was the only one that was so very blase about budget. Like he, he never tried to get a CPC down. He never tried to, to talk to a, a way that it was like, he assumed very much that, oh, you have all the money in the world to do this thing. And maybe that was his ICA. He had, he, he was pulling in um, people who had more money and he thought that that's mm -hmm. the person he should talk to. And, you know, it's no shame on him, whatever. I know he's got his own kind of other things going on in the world. Um, but it did set up a lot of authors. I remember for failure. I remember taking it and thinking, oh my gosh, some of his CPCs are like 75 cents. Like what, mm -hmm. <laughs> like what is happening right now? Um, but the thing that we have to remember too, when it comes to ads is like, we, we get to have fun with it. It gets to, it yeah. gets to be fun. It doesn't have like if $5 a day feels fun, even if like, what is the ultimate outcome then? Is it, is it awareness of your books? Is it the sale? Because to me, I, I think what we've done is kind of pervert what the ads are really for, because we are trying to build that readership. We're trying to build the awareness of our books. We're trying to, um, get ourselves out there, but we put so much pressure and focus on like, how many times does it sell then? Right. Mm -hmm. And so then we lose track of, of course, it's fun. Of course, it's getting myself out there. Of course that $5 matters because it's going to impact some of the readers who see it. It's helping me to learn things um, differently. So it's about kind of shifting perspectives a bit yeah, on how we want sure. to, you know, how we want to do it. But for you, if it's, if it's feeling hard to find the clarity of what you really feel for it, I would yeah. say that it's time to kind of back away from doing any of it and just kind of, um, go more inward, like start doing like the daily meditations on just that. Like, how do I really feel about this? Like, do I, do mm -hmm. I, does it light me up or does it make me feel meh? And if it makes me feel, yeah, it doesn't mean it has to be yucky forever. It means just, okay, until it feels good for me again, I'm going to let this go. You know what I mean? Because anytime we're 100%. operating and doing something out of, out of this like yucky vibe, you're not going to get the results that you're looking for. So let me follow up with that. Then if, if it feels yucky, do you have any recommendations on how to shift or how to figure out what feels good? Which I know it sounds like, so like common sense. Well, but like, I feel like as authors, everyone is telling us there are so many different ways to do this the right way. So like, how can we tell what we truly align with, with all of these freaking choices? <laughs> okay. First of all, there's never one single right way, Heather. There's never I know. I is, know. Which is what makes it so difficult for those of us who are high achievers and who want to do all the things and check all the boxes. But yeah. The, the, the problem is we have to, we have to tap back into us. Right. And so the way that you're going to know, um, number one, if you've shifted it is when mm -hmm. you start to feel good about it again. And okay. so if you can look at that, that belief, you know, like that, oh, it's so hard for me to run ads or I, I don't do well with ads or ads never work for me. 
the question might like, how do we, how do we shift and reframe that thought? Because that's obviously not the ultimate truth. And so we have to go, okay, well, maybe I am meant to run ads in a different platform. Maybe I'm meant to run ads in a different way. Maybe I'm meant to run ads in a different style that no one has even thought of yet. Like what, Mm -hmm. what kind of cool creative new way could I run an image or the copy that's going to make people stop and go, what's happening with this ad right now? Like you don't, if you're trying to come conform to the rules of all the ways that people have done it before, and it's not feeling good to you, it might be time to just kind of go, how can I do this differently? How could I, how could I throw spaghetti out of the wall and make it feel more fun? Or you can shift it and go, this is always working for me. Every, every ad I do, every step I take, it's always growing. It's always adding up. It's always working out for me. There's something I'm always learning from it. And it's always going to impact my author career for the better. Yeah. No, for right. sure. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You bet. I know for me, when, when it came to ads, I was kind of in that same cycle, especially with Facebook ads. It felt like whenever I did money in Facebook ads, Amazon ads, for whatever reason, always work really well for me. Um, but Facebook ads were more of a dilemma and it wasn't until I switched to having a direct store where I could do conversion ads, the sales ads, that's where things started working for me. And all of a sudden my pixel started working for me and all the things started working in a way that actually was really supportive but just throwing money at Facebook when I was trying to send them to Amazon, when I was all in with KU, that, that didn't work as well. Yeah. So it could just be that you need to play around with how, how do you want it to work for you and, and what, um, what is ultimately going to feel best for your author career. Yeah. I like that. Cool. Thanks. Try free to place ads posting on notice boards. Yeah. That's a good, good thing to share that. Yeah posting on notice boards, posting in social media clubs, posting in network groups, posting in the uh, high vibe author, letting us know to <laughs> you're in ma'am. You need to like, let us know in ma'am. <laughs> you have a new book. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good one too. Uh, if your book is being used as a business card and not the main product, then the ad spend really doesn't have to be profitable. That's a really good point because that, then it truly is just keeping you top of mind. It's keeping you um, top of mind for those who happen to come to your um, talks. If you do talks, if it's a, that sort of thing, it's very good. Any other questions, anything that was coming up for you? Any questions on manifestation or your author career? I I'm literally, I've done it all. Like I've talked about it all. I can help with pretty much anything. You don't have to be shy. (laughs) Everybody's like, do I have to? (laughs) Oh my goodness. Too funny. Well, hopefully this was all helpful and it made sense. Um, I had so much fun putting it together and getting it ready. <laughs> I, I, even during my cold, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is such good stuff. I can't wait to share this um, information with everybody because it's just been so eye-opening this past this past summer. Amy, she said, I had so much fun with your chat, uh, the chat course last year. Great. Are you doing anything else with ChatGPT anytime soon? We're going to be launching or relaunching um, the four books, five days. Uh, I believe that's how I'll probably do it in um, October for October, but I'll be doing a separate kind of membership just for those who are into aligned action. So I've got the, you know, the chat courses, the um, series courses, like how to create a series, rapid release roadmap, that sort of thing, where it's just more strategy side. And so there's going to be a new membership that's going to come out for that. I don't know when that'll, that'll launch or when it'll drop or how I'm going to even work it. Um, just yet, because this is like, obviously my, my first, first love is the manifestation and getting all that thing, but I'll still be doing, um, oh, what are they called? The master classes on ChatGPT, doing ChatGPT type master classes on and off. So if there's ever a topic that you're interested in doing, you can always like email me and let me know, and we'll get it on the list for things to do in the master classes for sure. And if it's a big, big enough topic, you know, that's definitely something I can consider doing for a course as well. Cause I love ChatGPT. It's been life-saving, like life-giving. It's like having the best, like best friend, co-writer, not even so much co-writing because I don't use it a lot for writing, but like, well, I do when it comes to like emails and stuff, because there are certain things where my brain just kind of shuts down, but I like it for planning and for like all the, it does so much cool stuff. (laughs) I love it. It's my favorite. All right, guys. Anything? Oh, Terry, you've got a, got a question. No, I was just going to say, I love those chat things too. So I'm already all in for that one for sure. My voice is like weird today again. So, oh no, I'm hard. 
<laughs> we're kind of opposites. Yours is love minded. I sound like Minnie Mouse, you know. But <laughs> it's only because I never talked to anyone. <laughs> Every day writing. And so uh, when I go to talk to someone, it's like, I don't even know what's going to come out. This is my first time to say anything today. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, it's got this silly vocal cord that just goes haywire, I guess, maybe with the weather. I'm not sure. But anyway, today it's high. So probably no one can hear me, but I don't know. We can hear you fine. What, did yeah. you have a question, though? No, I just wanted to specifically say those chat classes, okay. they were fantastic. And whatever ones you're going to do, I'm going to be there for those for sure. Perfect. I love it. I, I don't know what I did without it either. And <laughs> right. You know, it's small right now because that's all I've been doing. So any other expansions, I'm I'm looking forward to because you you come up with so many great things. That's for sure. Oh, uh, thank you, Terry. Yep, I love it. <laughs> My favorite awesome. thing are, are when you have these zooms. I love it. Me too. I, I love being able to see all your faces. That's my favorite. <laughs> I start when I first started author revolution, I did it more like webinar, true webinar style. Um, I had like, I can't remember what it was called big view or something as a webinar platform. And I hated it. I hated it so much because I couldn't see your faces. <laughs> so I was like, no, this is going to have to be on zoom. And so when we do a lot of our, uh, not a lot, when we do our calls inside of any of the memberships or in any of the classes, it's all within the community on Kajabi. And it's so nice because it's like zoom, but it's housed inside the, the platform itself. One more thing I was going to say, I did do that uh, heart thing and I have a little thing and you said to send it to you. I forgot to send it to you. I'll send it to you and see what you think. Okay. Yeah, definitely send it to me. Sounds yeah. good. What, how did you, how did you like the heart coherence thing? I did. It was really interesting. There's so many aspects to it. I was trying to figure it out right at first. And um, so it was, it was very enlightening. Yeah, I, d I have noticed that during during cold season for me, it's been harder to get into heart coherence. So keep that in mind, too. Like when your energetics is like completely wonky, it's harder to get into that heart coherent state, even if you're trying, even if you're like doing the same breath work and you're doing the same um, energetic work. But it does even like once you once your body gets back into its normal equilibrium, it, it goes back into place pretty quickly. So. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate all that, all that you were able to come and, and take part in all of this. And if you do have questions, feel free to let me know. I will send the replay out uh, shortly. And it will, if you're signing up for the program at all, you'll have like a big email that has a list of like all the different things. But I, I kind of give step by steps into like, okay, so if, if I were you and I was new, here's where I would start. And so like, take it a little bit at a time. Don't, don't feel like you have to do all the things and uh, do all the things at once because the point is not to overwhelm you it's to just give you the tools that you need in order to have fun and kind of play around in there okay all right guys well have a wonderful rest of the day and we will hopefully see you guys inside the program or in the other courses uh at another time and we will talk to you again soon have a wonderful long weekend okay thank you right. thank you you bet thanks guys have a great weekend bye you too